Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, how are you? I hope you are in a good condition Today, I am going to talk about student activities during pandemic But first, let me introduce myself I am Sulistia I am a teacher of Indonesian language I teach in SMP IT Tinas Cendikia Mataram To tell you the truth, today's topic is based on my own experience at my school. Okay, let's begin to talk about it. As we know, when the lockdown rules were enforced, many student activities changed, and the most unsettling effect for students is when they are required to study from their own home. Can you imagine how does it feel to study online? Staring at the screen of your smartphone, your laptop, all day long to listen to the lessons. A month or two, they may be feel happy because they have to take school holidays. But after studying online for a long time, they also feel bored. I know this from many of my students who complain about this online learning. They find it difficult to understand material, especially material related to calculation, such as, such as mathematics one day one of my students messaged me he said Ustaza can we study at school again as usual we find it difficult to understand the material when studying online we prefer to study face to face because we can better understand the material presented I represent the voices of my other friends He told me with many sad emoticons. As a teacher, I had no other choice but to answer. Be patient. As a teacher, I also want to teach directly at school. I also find it difficult to know whether you understand the material or not. Besides, we also have to work extra hard so our learning process can run as expected. Other teachers also feel the same way, but we can do nothing because this is the government's decision. And of course, this rule was made for our benefit and our health. So one day, all of the teachers attend meeting according to the scheduled day. The meeting was held to overcome student boredom in online learning. The solution we gave at that time was to conduct life skill activities. In this activity, the teachers gave several assignments to all of our students. We have correlated this assignment with their subjects. For example, first is cooking with family, which is correlated with social education subjects and the second is the task is given is the turn on friday blessing by giving alms to people who are not able to there are also activities related to natural education which is planting trees as an effort to conserve nature and the fourth is activities related to sport and many more. Of course, these activities were greeted enthusiastically by parents and students. This was the evidence from the various photos they sent to their respective homeroom teachers. Have a look. We also organize activities like this as an effort to strengthen ties between family members. Other than this life skill activities, we also hold one of the activities related to this month of Ramadan. We call it Mutaba'ah Ramadan. This Mutaba'ah Ramadan is a report in the form of a sheet of paper containing the target of the student Ramadan worship. In this paper, we make a list of the prayer that student can do during the month of Ramadan. Yes, during the pandemic. And Alhamdulillah, 
thanks to the support and help from our uh, students parent to make it happen this event also running well this is an example of my student mutaba'ah ramadan that i can show you with this pandemic i and other teacher even teacher in various region also find it difficult to teach but because it can be avoided we also have to keep doing it however with a variety of activities as i have said before student activities become diverse and students do not experience burnout due to the monotonous learning process yeah that's all from me i hope this life skill activity can be inspiration to other school thank you for your attention and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh